Yeah. Broken ways, niggas know that we stand up. Try to get paid without cops trying to jam us. Yo, what's happening, y'all? Today, 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 guys. Today, I am actually going to show you a quick, quick transformation from a fucking coke head to a coke dealer. I'm telling y'all, he's about to look crazy. My boy's an essential worker. He got to look good for work, too. He can't be looking all raggedy and disgusting at work. So we gave him a quick little transformation. And if y'all like this video, keep watching it. Keep watching it to the end. And y'all about to see something crazy. And honestly, just watching the whole transformation kind of makes you just relax. Honestly, you just want to chill and watch someone get a haircut. I know y'all miss getting haircuts. So watch this video and let me know what y'all think, all right? Catch you in a bit. All right, y'all, what's happening? My boy right here is looking fucking crazy right now. But first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna spray his head with some water. You don't wanna make the nigga soaking wet. You just wanna spray him with a little bit of water so it's damp. And then afterwards, you just start parting his hair the way it's supposed to be, going in the natural direction that his hair wants to move. If you don't do that, when you start cutting his hair, it's not gonna come out the way you want it. After that, we're gonna start clipper over combing a little bit around the head we're not gonna go too high and we're not gonna take too much off the only real purpose of this is just to take bulk off and so my clippers don't get fucking clogged dead ass all right now what you're gonna want to do or what i'm doing right now is just running the three all around the head taking off a lot of that bulk just so we could start off with it clean canvas and right now we're gonna run that number one all the way across the head not high not too low literally right around the ear and it dips down into the head as you can see right there and since the bottom part of my head is all clean or his head is all clean we're gonna just start with the shape up in the back and since I'm doing the shape up in the back I'm like fuck it I'm just do the shape up in the beard right over there and then connect it right around the ear when you do the shape up around the ear you kind of want to use the corner of your blade you want to use the corner of the blade and trace that line you gotta make your own line use your imagination visualize it in your head because y'all barbers y'all dead ass artists use your imagination trace that line and make sure to use the corner of the edge of the blade just imagine it's like a pencil so right now over here we're going to start with our first guy line into the skin taper the way I do the skin taper is I like making my guides dip down a little bit just so the front part of his shape up is still visible when we do the shape up. So right here I have the no guard open and I'm just trying to take that line out where I created that my first guide line with the trimmers. So right now I'm just using the corner of my blade playing with the lever. The closer I get to that line the lower my lever goes or the closer the blades get together just still playing with that line just playing with the corners just trying to get that line out so right now i have another line that i gotta take care of between the one open and that open no guard so what i'm gonna do is just keep attacking it right now i got my 16 guard i'm gonna just keep attacking that line with my corners to get rid of it as of right here, there's another angle of how I'm doing my skin taper on the back. You just want to make sure that line is straight. Just make sure that bitch is straight, you heard? One of the reasons why I like doing the shape up in the back first and the side is because once I start fading, I can literally see what I'm doing. Right now, with my and Slim Lines Pros, I'm putting in my first guideline in the back, and we're making that curve up and around a little bit just to give it a burst effect the next step right now is we're gonna want to bring up our one or our no guard open about half an inch up and we're just still gonna be playing with that bottom line still playing with the corner of the blades trying to take that line out mind you the closer you get to the bottom line you got to keep closing that lever you got to make sure that the blades are really like close together once you start hitting that bottom line just keep playing with the edges keep playing with the corners and you should be able to get that line out not everyone could take or can fade from a no guard to the number one i'm including myself and one of those people so right now we're just going to keep softening up that line i got my one open and then i'm just going over that that one area that i ran over before so right now i got my one closed halfway and as you can notice i'm literally going right underneath where i did that one open now i got my 116th and now i'm literally trying to 
take away that line. You gotta just go in, scoop out, and be gentle, man. Just be gentle, bro. Make believe it's your baby, bro. Just be gentle. You don't got any. You don't gotta do anything crazy. You don't wanna hurt your clients. You don't wanna hurt anyone. Just be gentle, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, son. Stop playing. You you don't gotta make the niggas cry, bro. Just be gentle. You you see that, bro? You you see the scoops? Just be gentle, right here. Literally, right now, same thing. I'm not digging in. I'm literally going in and out, kind of like a C motion, kind of scooping up. And because I'm scooping up, I'm also building my shape. What we're gonna want to have at the end of the haircut is a box type shape. You don't want it to go in too much. Right now, I got my number two guard, and I'm going over that line a little bit right underneath the crown. And as I keep going down, I just keep moving that lever closer and closer. Same steps go with the one and a half. As I keep going closer to that line, as I keep going down and reverse fading downwards, I just keep closing that lever. Just keep closing that lever, just keep playing with that line. So now I got rid of that line between the one and the one and a half, but I still have a little bit of a line between the one and a half open and the two up top. Alright y'all, so now I got the two open, and I'm literally doing the same steps, going up, and then attacking that line. Right here, I got the number one. I saw a little bit in the section where I did the number one, so I'm just going in with my corners, trying to perfect the bottom before I go up to the top of the head. This is just another angle of that shape up for the taper in the back. Like I said, just use the corner and you see how i'm using my finger as a pivot point so i keep my hand steady that's all you got to do use the corners use your finger as a pivot point and make sure that line is good and just so i'm not leaving y'all hanging with the other side of his head we're literally going to follow the ex exact same steps we did on the other side of the head as you get closer to that bottom line you want to gradually keep closing that lever keep closing that lever play with that line Use the corner of your blades, and if you don't see anything changing with the guard you're using, then use the lower guard and keep playing with it. The best advice I could give y'all is use the corner of your blades because you do not want to create a line that you can't get out because that's just going to fuck up the whole haircut and none, neither you or the client is going to feel good about it. So as you can see, the shape is starting to come in, the box shape is starting to come in, the lines are starting to come out. And already he's looking crazy already he's just feeling super crazy he's already looking better right now we're gonna take off a little bit off the top I asked him how much he wants to take off never start cutting anyone's hair on top or on the sides without asking them what they want first so we came up with a desired length with about four fingers all the way around from the front to the back I usually start from the front and then work my way to the back I have tried several other methods of cutting hair from the top but it just didn't work for me i would find myself always getting myself lost or cutting hair uneven from one side of the head to the other and i just found this technique to be better for me mind you when cutting hair i wouldn't necessarily say that there's any specific right or wrong way to cut hair as long as you get the job done, as long as the final product is there, you could cut hair however the hell you want. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and can't do. If the final product is there, then it's there. Your work speaks for itself. Now that we got four lengths all around from the front to the back of the head, we're just gonna scissor over comb a little bit of the overhang on that side of the head like i said you're not gonna go in too deep you just want to take a little bit off to try and get that shape i'm going in and out and up right now i got my thinning shears and if i see a line i'm just going and attacking that line right over here if i see any like little extra hairs that i don't like i'm just trimming around his head taking any flyaways off it's literally like gardening or making or trimming bushes or whatever so right here we're just doing a little bit of the line work lining the bottom part of his beard but as you can see right now my boy young rico suave he don't look like a coke head he look like a coke dealer stop playing he's looking crisp right now and honestly you could tell the difference from when he walked and sat into that chair to right now honestly it's just a lot of persistent hard work 
and make sure every cut you do counts make sure every little clip every little trim you do counts in progressing yourself into a better barber So after I finish the haircut, I've that has noticed that I blocked the camera angle from the other shape up. But right here, that's literally what I'm doing. I'm starting at that corner box and then connecting it from the bottom up to that part. Same thing with over the ear. You gotta use that corner of the blade. You gotta visualize it in your head and just use your fingers, use your hands, use the client's head as a pivot point to make that circular, that semicircle shape. Don't be too rough. And if it doesn't come out super crisp with the liners, then once you do it with the razor, it's gonna come out even crispier. All right, y'all, so getting to almost the end of the haircut, we're gonna continue off with our razor work. Razor work is tricky, man. Honestly, the best advice I could give y'all is pull the skin. You see how I'm literally pulling away from where I am using that razor? The reason why you want to pull the skin away from where you're cutting is so you don't cut the skin. I don't know if y'all ever felt skin or not, but skin is super rubbery, super elastic -y. And if you don't pull that skin, you're bound to cut someone. Whether it be now, in the future, it doesn't matter. That's the least that you, the least concerns that you want to do in a barbershop or just giving someone a haircut in general. Pull the skin and make sure you don't cut him. Be gentle at first, or be gentle always, not even if you're experienced, not even if whatever the case may be. Just be gentle with the razor. There's a lot of people who have super sensitive skin, and you as a barber have to be responsible for that as well. But as you can see, my boy is already looking fucking crazy right now. He got his, his skin taper. Right now, we're fading out the beard. He's looking crazy right now. Way different than when he did in the beginning. Honestly, I thought he was looking like a young Chris Brown. I don't know about y'all. I might be lying. I thought he was looking like a young Chris Brown. <laughs> Let me know, y'all. All right, y'all, we did a slow skin taper a little bit off the top, beard work, we did some of his eyebrows. At some point, you can see we still got that box type shape. This is probably a clean ass quarantine cut. We gotta make sure all these essential workers are looking good for work as well. Whew, young Chris Breezy in the fucking crib, stop playing. All right, y'all, so that was the end of the video. I told y'all I'm about to turn my boy from a coke head to a coke dealer. I told y'all I was going to make him look like Chris Breezy. He was looking really, really different after that haircut, honestly. And I know it's not the most perfect haircut down to the tooth, but at the end of the day, if your client likes your work, if your client likes you, then your client is gonna stick with you instead of other barbers if your client likes you, you feel me? That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be open to criticism from other barbers. That doesn't mean you should be closed-minded and not listen to other barbers. Cause at the end of the day, there's still growth in every barber. There's still growth in everyone. And if you stop growing, what are you really doing, you know? You're just gonna stay straight, you're just gonna stay one in your just one linear path. You just wanna keep going up. You feel me? You just wanna keep going up. But if there's anything y'all wanna learn, if there's any specific type of videos that you guys wanna see, let me know. Put it down in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel. Really quick, subscribe to my boy Angel. He has a Twitch account. Put it down in the comment section below as well. I'ma catch y'all later in the next video, yeah?